Hey, what up, decisive marketers? Do you run your own e-commerce store or you have a range of different products, maybe different causes that you sell or different services that you provide? If you do, then you want to listen closely because today's tool is a WordPress plugin at the and it's really powerful and uh, I'm gonna show you later what it can do but basically what this tool is able to do is um, help you to filter your customers down and recommend them the right products uh, much quickly so that they can pick what they want and make a purchase so uh, this tool is called WP Gaiden, right? It's a WordPress plugin. But before I dive into WP Gaiden, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like to see more digital marketing and e-commerce content. So um, here we go. So this is WP Gaiden, and uh, actually what I've done is created a. Um, it's it's sort of like a quiz, but it's also attached to the filters that you have on your site itself so you can recommend anything it doesn't have to be like products it can be um posts as well it could be blog posts you can ask them hey uh what do you want to read about today and then you can filter that out for them right so uh i think this plugin is very useful um and i think it can be actually really powerful as well and i actually make use of all the elements uh, that WP Gaiden is able to provide, which I'll show you uh, later on. But let me just show you the um, demo that I've created right here. So um, I'm going to be suggesting a bunch of products in the uh, in the store page right here, and uh, I, I would ask them, you know, what is your mood today? And then it says happy, um, and then let's say they want T-shirt and maybe they filter the price let's say they just want to buy something between fifteen dollars and 25 and uh and then i would actually ask them for their email address okay and show details and then it will now suggest me something right here can you see that okay so I think that this too is actually really powerful and in fact sometimes some of the results is going to show you um, other results that is close to what you want okay so uh, so this is actually very powerful because uh, you know you can in fact possibly collect um, customers information as well okay so uh, what you want to be doing is uh, jump into WP Gaiden right here which is the plugin um, they have its free version and the uh, paid version right so let's check out the free version first because I'm not really sure what the um, difference between them is um, we can search for WP Gaiden on the WordPress plugin repository and it's right here okay right and uh you know you, these are what you can do with it okay so um it doesn't say what the difference between the free and the paid version is right but yep you can use it for anything right um in fact you if you head over to their website um they do show you a bunch of different temples but I'm just going to be showing you based on the um, based on the uh, um, e-commerce right so you can use it for you know real estate uh, right you can use it for real estate okay and uh, you know you get your results right here uh, you can do a lot of stuff right here as well okay so you can um, use it for many many different things in fact so uh, so how do you make use of WP Gaiden it's it's more like a filter right but uh, you suggest um, if rather than letting people click on the filters itself you ask them what they want right so you prompt them for it instead okay uh, and it works kind of like a quiz right so what you want to be doing is uh, so I've created one uh, guide right here so how it works is that firstly you create a guide okay and then 
uh, let me just put in something right here okay you create a guide okay and then uh, of course you can design the guide right you can you know change the colors and stuff like that in here okay and uh, uh, okay you can set all this up here and uh, next is you will then create filters right so filters would be for you to filter you know what are the the you know filtering down the results right so uh, let me just put in something right here and you can choose between um, three different kind of filters one is card one is slider and one is form okay so uh, but only the card and slider are really um, filters in fact so I'm just going to show you on card right so card you have checkbox or radio uh, buttons to choose from so checkbox will be that you can select multiple options uh, radio you can only select one option and we create okay and then you manage cards right here And this will be your card image, like if you want to put anything, um, this will be the label, right? So let's say you got two different um, cards to choose from. So for example, in my um, demo right here, I ask them, are you happy or are you casual today? So then uh, you can you can put your two different options, right? So you got to put one option in here first, then uh, you know select your card image and it's a or or N condition then your card condition you will then select what is the attribute to filter by right so are you filtering your polls if you want to you can select that and then uh, are you filtering on uh, your woocommerce uh, products you can select from here um, any meta fills uh, or page meta fills or product meta fills so you select these ones okay and once you're done uh, you can just save this and you would then have one card and that is one option right one option right here so you got to create a second one right so so that you can you know choose between one or the other but of course um, your first card can be something like welcome you know and then you can just click on uh, the option and then click next right or you can don't even put anything and it will just show the button itself right so you select the cards and so the next kind of filter would be your slider filter so this will be a slider like maybe um, price or something like that okay so you are selecting between a range or you can select like you know good to bad something like that right so right so whether you are a you know, single slider or range slider and you can select what is the range 0 to 100 and what is the slider step right that means uh, the increment is based on um, every 10 or every like for example what I have right here is on 1 right so okay so it goes the range changes by one so you can set that up as well and whether you want to have any text before and after right here okay and what's the condition and what's the uh, condition right here all right so maybe you want to select price okay then you can select the uh, um, the condition and click on create so that will be your sliders and then the last one would be a form okay right and then you can create a form element
Okay, and what kind of uh, um, input field that you want to give them, like uh, whether it's a normal uh, input input field that means a line, a, 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 a small little box for them to fill in something, or it's a select field, right? Or, you know, that means it's like a sort of like a drop down where you can select multiple options or checkbox or radio field or a text area that means you want them to fill up a large um, piece of content in there, right? And then you can click on save. And then that will be a form. Okay, so um, and and what you do next is just grab the short code and paste it anywhere on your website. And then, um, for example, I paste the short code in my shop page, and that is what comes up right here. So it's very simple to use, right? And uh, I think it it serves quite a bit of purposes uh, here, right? You know, you can have a this. This is a radio button, and then this is a checkbox. Okay, and then um, if I click on show results, okay, then it also shows me you know other res similar results as well, right? So everything pops up here as well, right? So I think that um, WP Guidan is in is an awesome plugin. Um, the only thing that I feel is missing right now for WP Guidan is um, okay, so one more um, thing that I forgot to mention as well is that um, you have your reports right here. So all the reports, uh, that means all the submissions are in here, right? Okay, so you can grab their emails and everything. Okay, but what, what I feel that is, um, I think that it's a very powerful plugin already. Uh, you know, it's simple, but you know it's it's powerful but i think what is missing right now for wp guidance is um the uh webhook availability which they say would be out in uh, two weeks time so you can have a because we have a form field right so that form can can then uh can then be sent and tagged in someone else's uh sorry in your email uh, marketing solution and then you'll be able to send them targeted email content uh, to you know make them make a purchase or something like that right so I think that WP Guidance uh, you know it works like a quiz but at the same time it's a filter as well um, right so uh, I think it's 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 really interesting in my opinion uh, and I think I think that's that's about it right I I think Personally, for me, I would feel. Oh, uh, and one more um, that I uh, suggestion that I feel would be f to um, have a pop up solution as well, right? That means uh, the guide can be embedded or shown as a pop up, or maybe as a widget on the um, somewhere on the 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 page itself. That means it can be a side tab, or it can be like a embedded like a chat widget on the where people can actually uh, expand it uh, on somewhere on the page itself and then I think WP Guidance would be really awesome if they can implement some of these um, ideas that I have but as an embedded uh, solution it works uh, amazingly as well and you can see that the plugin uh, you know it's is loading really fast as well when you click on the uh, the the result that you the 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 choice that you want the option that you want and you click next everything just loads up like almost instantly right so that's all i have uh, in this video i um, highly do recommend this plugin because um, that is this is definitely something that i want to be implementing or uh, on my websites itself uh and i think that's all i have to share right um if you know anyone who could benefit from uh like a filter kind of uh filter quiz kind of uh plugin be sure to share wp guidance um this video with them and um, let me know what you think about WP Guidance in the comments below. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, do give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video.